okay in this class we are going to learn the linear variation functions linear variation functions variation functions okay in the previous class we learned the method of applying variation treatment okay when i was winding up the previous class i was talking to you what type of functions that we are usually using for the variation treatment and there i said that usually we don't know the energy of the real systems and at that case we may adopt a wave function which contains the variable parameters right for example we can adopt a wave function psi as a trial function which is a linear combination which is in a linear combination form like lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2 plus etc okay this can be a trial function where phi 1 and phi 2 are the eigen functions but lambda 1 this lambda 1 and lambda 2 are variable parameters variable parameters variable parameters and we will use we will do the variation treatment using this trial function okay what is the meaning of that assuming this is the function we will find out the expectation value e bar and when we are finding out the expectation value e bar that expectation value will be a function of the variable parameters like a lambda 1 lambda 2 etc okay the expectation value will be a function of lambda 1 lambda 2 etc and then what we will do is that we will go for a minimization step means we will go for the minimization of the expectation value with respect to the lambda 1 lambda 2 etc and what is the meaning of that means um, you have a number of choices for lambda 1 for example okay the lambda 1 is a variable parameter so you can have a number of choices for the value of lambda 1 and when you have a range of choices for lambda 1 e bar will also show a range of values okay so when you are giving some lambda 1 value okay and then the e bar will have a particular value so if i am plotting lambda 1 against the e bar you can see that for some lambda 1 value the e bar are here and when you change the lambda 1 the e bar became this and when you are changing the lambda 1 the e bar is again changing and it keeps on changing as the lambda 1 is changing okay for the pala lambda 1 values e bar Pala values are given E bar adopted. So if you are looking into this E bar values, you will see that it will fall in a curve and that curve will, will have a minimum value here. Okay. It means that when the lambda 1 value is here, when the lambda 1 value is here, at that point there is a minimum expectation value. The expectation value is minimum. This is that minimum expectation value okay so the acceptable value of lambda 1 will be this one this one will be the acceptable value of lambda because for all other values of lambda 1 you will get a higher expectation value okay so we will be looking for the minimum expectation value that is what we are doing here so in order to find out this minimum expectation value what we can do is you can just take dou e bar divided by dou lambda 1 and if you are taking dou e bar by dou lambda 1 at this point what will be the result and this is a turning point of the curve right the turning point of the curve the curve is coming down 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 at a particular point then it reaches a minimum and then it goes up so at this turning point dou e bar by dou, dou lambda 1 will be equal to 0 okay so that is what i explained uh, that is what i was mentioning the last part of the previous class means we are going to choose a trial wave function containing the variable parameters 
lambda 1, lambda 2, etc. And then we are finding out the expectation value. Then we go for a minimization process so that dou e bar by dou lambda 1 is equal to 0. Like that dou e bar by dou lambda 2 is equal to 0 and dou e bar by dou lambda 3 is equal to 0 etc okay so that we will do with a very variable parameter and so that we will get the optimum value of lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 etc corresponding to the minimum expectation value okay and those lambda 1 lambda 2 etc will be substituted in this function and that function will be corresponding to the minimum possible energy okay so that is what we uh, discussed in the last part of the previous class and here you can see that when I am constructing this, this trial function psi what is the form of this trial function psi is equal to lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2 plus lambda 3 phi 3 etc means the variable parameters are appearing as such variable parameters are appearing as such like lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 etc Okay, this type of variation functions, lifts, this type of functions are called linear variation functions. So, linear variation function means it will be a function, a trial function which is a linear combination of the eigenfunctions in which the coefficient of the functions lambda 1, lambda 2, etc. and these will be appearing as such like lambda 1, lambda 2, etc. Not like a sine lambda 1 or cos lambda 2 or lambda 1 square or lambda 2 cube. Not like this, right? It is appearing like lambda 1, lambda 2, etc. Merely appearing like lambda 1, lambda 2, etc. And therefore, these type of functions are called a linear variation functions, okay? linear variation functions but in some cases the variable parameters can appear like this sin lambda 1 cos lambda 2 lambda 1 square lambda 2 cube etc okay it can appear in many other forms and such variation functions are called non-linear variation functions non-linear variation functions okay so the functions or the trial function can be a linear variation function or non-linear function that will be depending upon the nature of the variable parameter. If the variable parameter appears as such as mere constants like lambda 1, lambda 2, etc. Then you can say that these are variable linear variation functions. But if they are appearing as some other way, in some other way like a sine or cos or square of the linear variation functions or cube or some other way then you can say that they are non-linear variation functions okay so now we know what are linear variation functions and uh, non-linear variation functions and for our purpose we will be concentrating only on this linear variation functions linear variation functions so we will we will learn how to apply the variation method using a linear variation trial function okay so let us do that so psi is equal to psi is equal to lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2 this is our trial function psi is equal to lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi phi 2 so in variation method the first step is that we must have a trial function trial function and now we have a trial function what is so special with this trial function this trial function contains lambda 1 lambda 2 etc and these are variable parameters variable parameters their value has to be optimized at the end okay they are variable parameters and not only that the variable parameters appears as such so we can call this trial function as a linear variation variation function okay linear variation function so now we have a linear variation function so the next step in the variation method is to go for the expectation value from the third postulate of the quantum mechanics 
that is the expectation value expectation value e bar is equal to integral psi h cap psi d tau divided by integral psi psi d tau or integral psi square d tau okay here we assume that psi is a real function that is why i just put psi h cap psi d tau otherwise we have to use the expression uh, containing the complex conjugate of the trial function and that is going to be more complicated and for simplicity i am just assuming that the trial wave function that we are assuming here is a, a real wave function and not complex wave function okay so the the expectation value is like this and now i am going to substitute for psi in this uh, expression for the expectation value then i get e bar is equal to integral a uh, is lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2 that is psi h cap in uh, lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2 uh, d tau divided by integral integral um, uh, psi psi d tau or we can write uh, lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2 uh, into uh, lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2 d tau. Okay. So, that is the expression for the average value or expectation value. And now I am going to expand this expression. When I am going to expand this expression, how it will appear like? We will see how it will appear like. That is E bar is equal to uh, lambda 1 phi 1 h cap lambda 1 phi 1 that we can write lambda 1 square integral phi 1 h cap phi 1 d tau right uh, lambda 1 square integral phi 1 h cap phi 1 d tau plus the second term that is lambda 1 phi 1 h cap lambda 2 phi 2 okay so that we can write lambda 1 lambda 2 uh, integral phi 1 h cap phi 2 d tau okay lambda 1 lambda 2 integral phi 1 h cap phi 2 d tau plus the third term what is the third term that is lambda 2 phi 2 h cap lambda 1 phi 1 so that we can write like uh, lambda 1 lambda 2 integral phi 2 h cap phi 1 d tau plus the last uh, the the, the uh, last term is phi 2 lambda 2 phi 2 h cap lambda 2 phi 2 that, so it will be lambda 2 square lambda 2 square integral phi 2 uh, phi 2 h cap phi 2 d tau okay so that is the numerator that is divided by divided by the denominator denominator is lambda 1 phi 1 lambda 1 phi 1 so that is lambda 1 square phi 1 phi 1 d tau integral phi 1 phi 1 d tau lambda 1 square integral phi 1 phi 1 d tau plus then uh, lambda 1 lambda 2 integral phi 1 phi 2 d tau lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 integral phi 1 phi 2 d tau plus uh, then then lambda 2 lambda 1 phi 2 phi 1 so it is lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 integral phi 2 phi 1 d tau plus then last one is uh, lambda 2 lambda 2 integral phi 2 phi 2 d tau that is lambda 2 square lambda 2 square integral phi 2 phi 2 d tau ok. So, that is the denominator. So, now we have many terms here and uh, we are going to simplify these terms ok. So, we are going to abbrevi we are going to use some abbreviations for these terms. So, let us adopt some abbreviations. Uh, these abbreviations are integral 
phi 1 h cap phi 1 d 2 can be called as h 1 1 h 1 1 means integral phi 1 phi 1 h cap phi 1 d 2 okay that is h 1 1 and h 2 2 h 2 2 is equal to integral phi 2 h cap phi 2 d 2 okay that is here and then we have integral phi 1 h cap phi 2 d 2 that is h 1 2 that is equal to integral phi 1 h cap phi 2 d 2 sorry h cap phi 2 d 2 and then we have h 2 1 here that is h 2 1 is equal to integral of uh, phi 1 phi 2 h cap phi 1 d 2 okay and then we have some other integrals here in the denominator also that is integral phi 1 phi 1 d 2 that can be called as um s 1 1 okay s 1 1 is equal to integral phi 1 phi 1 d 2 and then we have s 2 2 S22 is equal to integral phi 2 phi 2 d 2, and then we have S12 as integral phi 1 phi 2 d 2, and S21 as integral integral phi 2 phi 1 d 2. Okay, so we have all these here, and there are uh, some of these expressions are equal. Okay, for example. if you are considering h12 and h21 okay so let us take h21 separately h21 oh, so if you are taking h21 h21 you know the expression for h21 that is integral phi to h cap phi 1 d 2 okay phi to h cap phi 1 d 2 so we can write it like this right this h cap applies for phi 1 and you know that h cap is a hamiltonian operator it's a hermitian operator all quantum mechanical operators are hermitian operators so h cap is a hermitian operator what is the condition for the hermitian operator uh, the condition for the hermitian operator is that uh, integral integral h cap phi 2 phi 1 d 2 or we can write it like uh, integral phi 1 h cap phi 2 d 2 okay so let me write it like h this this is since this is a hermitian operator h 2 1 will be again equal to integral h cap phi 1 okay h cap phi 1 uh, phi 2 phi 2 d 2 here the hamiltonian applies for h cap phi 2 sorry h cap phi 2 h cap phi 2 integral let me write it correctly since it is hamiltonian this integral applies to the, this uh, hamiltonian applies to phi 2 also so we can write it like h cap phi 2 h cap phi 2 then phi 1 d 2 okay or we can write it like integral phi 1 phi we, i am going to write phi 1 first because the order is not a matter okay phi 1 uh, h cap phi 2 phi 1 h cap phi 2 d 2 there you go all right see what is phi 1 h cap phi 2 d 2 that is already here phi 1 h cap phi 2 d 2 that is nothing but h 1 2 h 1 2 therefore we can say that h 2 1 is equal to h 1 2 by h 1 2 ne ezhudiyalum h 2 1 ennu ezhudiyalum satyatha adu onnu thaneyana because hamiltonian is a hermitian operator hamiltonian is a hermitian operator ayirundu right? h12 this is an important result we have to write h12 is equal to h21 okay that we have to keep in mind and in addition to that here you can see that s12 and s21 they are also equal because s12 is integral phi 1 phi 2 d 2 s21 is integral phi 2 phi 1 d 2 order is not a matter here or two functions are multiplied here and then that is the product is integrated so it doesn't matter in which way you are multiplying what in which way you are writing 
whether you are writing the this function first or the other function first the product is always a product and that product only you are integrating therefore s12 s12 is equal to s21 that is also very important so these two we have to keep in mind okay and after that we are going to apply these abbreviations in this very long equation okay so now we are going to write an expression for e bar okay e bar is equal to now e bar is equal to how can we write lambda 1 square into this one is h11 okay lambda 1 square h11 lambda 1 square h11 plus then let me write this first lambda 2 square h22 lambda 2 square h22 plus then we have lambda 1 lambda 2 into h12 and plus lambda 1 lambda 2 h21 but h12 and h21 are equal therefore you can write h12 in both cases so you can write 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 h12 right 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 h12 divided by divided by now the denominator denominator is lambda 1 square into this is s11 right lambda 1 square s11 lambda 1 square s11 plus this term that is lambda 2 square s22 lambda 2 square s22 plus two other terms lambda 1 lambda 2 s12 and lambda 1 lambda 2 s21 but s12 is equal to s21 therefore you can write 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 s12 right 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 s12 okay so now now that is the expression for the expectation value so now we have a new expression and this expression is not very long so long because we have used used some abbreviations here okay so that looks nice so let me call this as the numerator n this one is a numerator n and this one as the denominator d okay so these are also again abbreviations where n is equal to this one and d is equal to this one okay so you keep in mind what are n and d so now we have the expectation value now what is the next procedure in the variation method first of all we had a trial function and second secondly we using the trial function we we calculated the expectation value now the third procedure is that this expectation value should be minimized with respect to the variable parameters lambda 1 and lambda 2 okay so let us go for the minimization step minimization step minimization minimization so these are to be minimized this expectation value should be minimized with the respect to the variable parameters lambda 1 and lambda 2 it means that we have to do dou e bar by dou lambda 1 that is equal to 0 and dou e bar by dou lambda 2 that is also equal to 0 okay when this condition is uh, obeyed then the lambda 1 lambda 2 will be the optimum values of the variable parameters corresponding to the minimum expectation value okay so we are going to do that okay so lambda dou e bar by dou lambda 1 is equal to 0 and dou e bar by dou da, dou, 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 dou e bar by dou lambda 2 is also equal to 0 and e bar is nothing but n by d right e bar is equal to n divided by d so let us write dou e bar by dou lambda 1 so dou e bar dou e bar by dou lambda 1 is equal to dou by dou lambda 1 dou by dou lambda 1 of n by d right n by d n by d that is equal to dou by dou lambda 1 
of n into 1 by d. This is like a product of two functions. One function is n and another function is d. Okay. Both n and d are the functions of lambda 1 and lambda 2 and we are doing the partial differentiation with respect to lambda 1. Okay. So, do lambda 1 do by do lambda 1 of n into 1 by d that is equal to first function that is n into differential of the second. What is that? Differential of 1 by d that is equal to minus 1 by d square into atrayam pora ini vidu the da kudi lambda 1 against i to namukku differentiate yanam. So, we can write do d divided by do lambda 1. So, now first function into differential of the second plus second function that is 1 by d into differential of the second that is do n by do lambda 1. Okay. So, how can we write that? That is equal to 1 by d is a common factor in both cases. So, we will take we will keep 1 by d outside. What is remaining here is do n by do lambda 1 do n by do lambda 1 minus 1 by d into do d do d by do lambda 1. So, these two terms are 1 by d as the common factor. Okay. So, do e bar by do lambda 1, do e bar by do lambda 1 is equal to do n by do lambda 1 minus, uh, uh, minus, okay, we have n, n is also here, n by d, minus n by d into do d by do lambda 1 into 1 by d. Okay. So, let me write it once again in the next page. Sorry. Okay. And therefore, we have the result do e bar divided by do lambda 1 is equal to do n by do lambda 1, do n by do lambda 1, right? Do n by do lambda 1 minus n by d into do d by do lambda 1 minus n by d into do d by do lambda 1 into 1 by d. Okay. This is do, d, do e bar by do lambda 1. Okay. Now, we have to uh, find out do e bar by do lambda 2. And now, we know that this is equal to 0 also, right? That is what we assumed the first. The minimization step in the way, it is 0 equity do e bar by do, do lambda 1 is equal to 0. So, we can write uh, this is equal to 0. This is equal to 0. Okay. This is equal to 0. Okay. So, next one what we are going to find out? We are going to find out do e bar by do lambda 1. Do e bar by do lambda 2, okay, do e bar by do lambda 2, that should also be equal to 0. So, let us find out do e bar by do lambda 2 and when we are finding out do e bar by do lambda 2, we can write just only lambda 2 is changed, right, lambda 1 and lambda 2 is the same, similar right to the expression, so we will get do n by do lambda 2, lambda 1 into sin of the lambda, lambda 2, do n by do, do lambda 2 minus n by d into do d by do lambda 2, do lambda 2 into 1 by d is equal to 0. Again, your expression is equal to 0. Okay. So, now we have two expressions. Okay. From the expression in the uh, equation number 1 and it is equation number 2 in the body. No way, I'm okay. We need to do OBO. We can do it from the Maka Satin Barnal. Total number of equation would number would call another equation would number would today. Let me call this as equation number 1 and uh, this one as equation number 2 and this one as equation number 3. Okay because we will use all these equations at a later stage. And uh, now, we have two equations 2 and 3 and these equations says that the right hand side is 0. 
so left hand side also should be zero how the left hand side should be zero left hand side is zero and equation 2 into equation 3 and left hand side is zero left hand side is zero and the condition is that there are two conditions one condition is that 1 by d must be equal to zero if 1 by d is zero, zero then the left hand side will also be equal to zero so is it possible to have 1 by d is zero 1 by d is zero is it possible the possible ano 1 by d is zero i can yell if 1 by d is equal to zero then it implicates that e bar is equal to n by d like e bar is equal to n by d and the total number of equation of the e bar is equal to n by d and if you suppose that 1 by d is equal to zero then e bar is equal to in the zero i power e bar is zero expectation value is zero okay so whatever may be the value of uh, lambda and phi the expectation value is going to be zero if you are taking one by d as zero that is not acceptable okay. for every value of lambda lambda one and lambda two and every value of uh, phi one and phi two whatever it may be the expectation value is going to be zero if um, 1 by d is equal to 0 and that is not an acceptable condition. So, this is not an acceptable condition. Okay. So, what is the next possibility? The next possibility is that uh, the, 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 the terms inside the bracket that is equal to 0. Okay. So, we can write dou n by dou lambda 1 minus n by d into dou d by dou lambda 1 that is equal to 0 this is one possibility and then dou n by dou lambda 2 minus n by d into dou d by dou lambda 2 that is also equal to 0 so these are the only two possibilities so let me call this as equation number 4 and this one as equation number 5 okay and now what we are going to do is we are going to evaluate this one dou n by dou lambda 1 and then we will evaluate dou n by dou lambda 2 then we will evaluate this one dou d by dou lambda 1 and dou d by dou lambda 2 the la evaluate the initiation namely equation of the number day our results are substituted here we are normally not the right to change bone so what we will do we will first find out dou n by dou lambda 1 okay so let us find out dou n by dou lambda 1 dou n by dou lambda 1 okay dou n by dou lambda 1 when you know dou n by dou lambda 1 again so uh, we already know the numerator n the expression for the numerator n so let me write it once again here what is the expression for numerator n so numerator n is equal to lambda 1 square h 1 1 lambda 1 square h 1 1 plus lambda 2 square lambda 2 square h 2 2 plus 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 h 1 2 this is the numerator of numerator of our uh, expression for numerator for the expression for e bar that is numerator so so this is n and from this one we can find out dou n by dou lambda 1 so dou n by dou lambda 1 is equal to that is equal to we need on dou n by dou, dou lambda 1 that is dou by dou lambda 1 of dou by dou lambda 1 of this parameter okay dou by dou lambda 1 of lambda 1 square h 1 1 plus lambda 2 square h 2 2 plus 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 h 1 2 h 1 2 okay so let us find out this dou by dou lambda 1 of the first term that is equal to that is differentiating the first term with respect to lambda 1 that is equal to 2 lambda 1 into h 1 1 right plus second term in your differentiating below see second term will lambda 2 matra me ullu we are doing the partial differentiation with respect to lambda 1 so when you are doing the partial differentiation with respect to lambda 1 in the second term 
that second term will vanish because there is no lambda 1 term in the second, uh, second term. That is the E term in the way that vanish. If we have lambda 1 against that partial differentiate, that is 0. If you have third term, that is exist. And from the third term, you will get uh, with respect to lambda 1 and differentiate. So, you will get 2 lambda 2 into H12. So, dou n by dou lambda 1, dou n by dou lambda 1 is equal to 2 lambda 1 h11 plus 2 lambda 2 h12. Now, we are going to evaluate dou n by, so let me call this as equation number, equation number, what was that equation, previous equation, uh, equation number 5. So, let me call this as equation number 6. And now, we are going to find out dou n by dou lambda 2. And dou n by dou lambda 2 will be equal to uh, dou by dou lambda 2 of this quantity. Okay. For first term, illa daagum, karna avada lambda 2 illa. In the second term, like on a differentiation that I So, that from there, we will get 2 lambda 2 h 2 2. Uh, in the third term, we will get 2 lambda 1 h 1 2 in it. 2 lambda 1 h 1 2. Okay. So, let me call this as equation number 7. And now we have to evaluate dou d by dou lambda 1. Dou d by dou lambda 1. Dou d by dou lambda 1. And what is d? That is dou lambda 1, dou by dou lambda 1 of d. And d is equal to the denominator was lambda 1 square, lambda 1 square, yes, 1, 1 plus lambda 2 square, lambda 2 square, yes, 2, 2 plus 2 lambda 1, lambda 2, yes, 1, 2. You will work on the denominator. We previous article page number the denominator. This is the denominator. Lambda 1 square is 1, 1, lambda 2 square is 2, 2, 2 lambda 1, yes, 1, 2. That is what we will do. Okay. So, this is equal to uh, dou by dou lambda 1 of the first quantity, the first term that is equal to 2 lambda 1 s 1 1. Second terms differential will be 0 because it contains only lambda 2 plus third terms differential that is equal to 2 lambda 2 s 1 2 s 1 2. Okay. And then, uh, third differential. So, this is dou d by dou lambda 1. Okay. So, let me call this as equation number 8. Okay. 2 lambda 1 s 1 1 plus 2 lambda 2 s 1 2. And now, we have to find out dou d by dou lambda 2. Dou d, dou d by dou lambda 2. That is equal to dou by dou lambda 2 of uh, the d, d is equal to uh, lambda 1 square s yes, 1 1 plus lambda 2 square s yes, 2 2 plus lam 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 s yes, 1 2 right and that is equal to uh, this term will be vanished and uh, from this term you will get a 2 lambda 2 s yes, 2 2 plus from here you will get 2 lambda 1 s yes, 1 2 so that is equal to dou d by dou lambda 2 Okay. So, let me call this as, call this as equation number 9, equation number 9. So, now we have 4 equations, uh, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and uh, we are going to substitute these equations, 6 to 9, equation 6 to 9. So, substitute, substitute equation 6 to 9. 6 to 9. Okay. R mother will umbadavari will equation. Every number substitute in the uh, we are going to substitute in the expression uh, for um, two expressions that we got earlier. I will show you that expressions. See these two expressions. See these two expressions 4 and 5. Dou n by dou lambda 1 minus n by d dou d by dou lambda 1 is equal to 0 and the other expression. So, we are going to substitute in 4 and 5. Okay. 4 and 5. 4 and 5. 
അപ്പൊ ആദ്യം നമുക്ക് ഫോറിൽ സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്യാം സോ ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്പർ ഫോർ ഗീവ്സ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്പർ ഫോറിലുള്ളത് ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ വൺ ആൻഡ് വി നോ ദ വി നോ ദ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഫോർ ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ വൺ ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ വൺ ഈസ് ദിസ് വൺ ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് മീ റൈറ്റ് ടു ലാം ഡ വൺ എച്ച് വൺ വൺ പ്ലസ് ടു ലാം ഡ ടു എച്ച് വൺ ടു ടു ലാം ഡ വൺ എച്ച് വൺ വൺ പ്ലസ് ടു ലാം ഡ ടു എച്ച് വൺ ടു ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ വൺ മൈനസ് എൻ ബൈ ഡി മൈനസ് എൻ ബൈ ഡി ബട്ട് എൻ ബൈ ഡി ഈസ് നത്തിങ് ബട്ട് ഇ ബാർ റൈറ്റ് മൈനസ് എൻ ബൈ ഡി ഇൻ ടു ഡോ ഡി ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ വൺ അതാണ് ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്പർ ഫോറിൽ പറയാം ഡോ ഡി ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ വൺ ഡോ ഡി ബൈ ഡോ ഡോ ലാം ഡ വണിന്റെ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ നമ്മുടെ ഇതുണ്ട് ടു ലാം ഡ വൺ എസ് വൺ വൺ പ്ലസ് ടു ലാം ഡ ടു എസ് വൺ ടു സോ ലെറ്റ് മീൻ സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ദാറ്റ് വൺ ഓക്കെ സോ ഇ ബാർ ഇൻ ടു ടു ലാം ഡ വൺ ടു ലാം ഡ വൺ എസ് വൺ വൺ മൈനസ് പ്ലസ് പ്ലസ് ടു ലാം ഡ ടു എസ് വൺ ടു എസ് വൺ ടു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് വി ക്യാൻ ഗെറ്റ് ഫ്രം ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്പർ ഫോർ സോ വി ഹാവ് ടു ഇൻ ഓൾ ടേം സോ വി ക്യാൻ ഡിവൈഡ് ഓൾ ദ ടേംസ് വിത്ത് സീറോ ടു ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡ് ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡ് സോ ഓൾ ടു വിൽ ബി ക്യാൻസൽ എല്ലാ ടു അങ്ങ് ക്യാൻസൽ ചെയ്തു പോകുമല്ലേ എല്ലാ റൈറ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡിനെയും ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഹാൻഡ് സൈഡിനെയും ടു കൊണ്ട് അങ്ങ് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എല്ലാ ടേമിലുള്ള ടു അങ്ങ് ക്യാൻസൽ ചെയ്തു പോകും പിന്നെ നമുക്ക് ബാക്കിയുള്ളത് എന്താണ് സോ ലെറ്റ് മീ റൈറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് റിമൈനിങ് ഈസ് ലാംഡ വൺ ഓക്കെ ലാംഡ വൺ ലാംഡ വൺ ഈസ് എ കോമൺ ഫാക്ടർ ഫോർ ദിസ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് വൺ സോ ലാംഡ വൺ എച്ച് വൺ വൺ ഓക്കെ ലാംഡ വൺ എച്ച് വൺ വൺ മൈനസ് ഇ ബാർ ഇൻ ടു എസ് വൺ വൺ എസ് വൺ വൺ ഓക്കെ അതിന് രണ്ടിന് ലാംഡ വൺ കോമൺ ഫാക്ടർ ആണ് അല്ലെ പ്ലസ് ലാംഡ ടു ഇസ് എ കോമൺ ഫാക്ടർ ഫോർ ദിസ് വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എച്ച് വൺ ടു മൈനസ് ഇ ബാർ ഇ ബാർ ഇൻ ടു എസ് വൺ ടു എസ് വൺ ടു ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ സോ നാ വി ഹാവ് അൻ ഇക്വേഷൻ ലാംഡ വൺ എച്ച് വൺ വൺ ഇ ബാർ എസ് വൺ വൺ പ്ലസ് ലാംഡ ടു ഇൻ ടു എച്ച് വൺ ടു മൈനസ് ഇ ബാർ എസ് വൺ ടു ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ സോ ലെറ്റ് മീ കോൾ ദിസ് ആസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്പർ ടെൻ ഓക്കെ നാ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ദ വാല്യൂസ് ഇൻ ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്പർ ഫൈവ് ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്പർ ഫൈവിലേക്ക് പോവുകയാണ് വി നോ ദ ഇക്വേഷൻ നമ്പർ വി നോ ദ വി നോ ദ ഇക്വേഷൻ ഫൈവ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ ടു മൈനസ് എൻ ബൈ ഡി ഇൻ ടു ഡോ ഡി ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ ടു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഓക്കെ സോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് വൺ ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ ടു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ ഡോ ലാം ഡ ടു ഡോ എൻ ബൈ ഡോ ലാം ഡ ടു ഈസ് Uh, 2 lambda 2 2 lambda 2 h22 h22 plus 2 lambda 1 h12 that is do d do n by do lambda 2 minus n by d that is e bar okay minus n by d in, in, that is e bar into do d by do lambda 2 what is do d by do lambda 2 that is equal to 2 lambda 2 yes 22 minus 2 lambda plus not minus plus 2 lambda 1 yes 12 yes 12 okay that is equal to 0 that is equation number 5 so this we obtain from equation number 5 so here also we can cancel 2 from all the cases because uh, if you are if you are dividing both rhs and lhs by 2 then we can Uh, we, the equation re will remain as an equation so we will get this okay so we can again write it like lambda 1 lambda 1 is a common factor for h12 h12 minus e bar okay e bar s12 s12 uh, plus lambda 2 into h1 h22 minus e bar okay e bar s22 that is equal to 0 okay and again we can rearrange this as lambda 1 into h12 
is equal to h21 adu nammal nerthe padichathana alle h12 is equal to h21 see here we learned this h12 is equal to h21 and s12 is equal to s21 that is what we are substituting there okay so let me write it like h21 h21 minus e bar s e bar s21 e bar s21 plus lambda 2 into h bar h lambda 2 into e uh, 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 h22 minus e bar s22 that is equal to zero so now we have a new equation and let me call this as equation number 11 okay equation number 11 So now we have two new equations. Equation number 10 and 11. Okay, these are very important equations. Equation number 10 and 11 are very important equations. So let me uh, write it once again the equation number 10 and 11 because we can keep it in one place. Equation number 10 says that lambda 1 lambda 1 into h 11 Minus e bar s one one right previous one h one one minus e bar s one one lambda one h one one minus e bar s one one plus lambda two h one two minus e bar s one two is equal to zero that is equation number ten and equation number eleven is lambda one into h two one Minus e bar s21 plus lambda 2 into h22 minus e bar s22 is equal to zero, and that is equation number 11. Okay, so you look at these equations, and this equation can be written in a matrix form also. How can we written in the matrix form? So let me take. the coefficients of lambda 1 and lambda 2 coefficients of lambda 1 lambda 2 in one matrix okay coefficients of lambda 1 and lambda 2 so let me construct a matrix that is with the coefficients of lambda 1 and lambda 2 that is uh, h11 minus e bar s11 okay that is a coefficient of lambda 1 in the first equation and the coefficient of lambda 2 in the first equation is h12 minus e bar s12 okay and in the second row of the matrix i write the coefficients of lambda 1 lambda 2 in the second equation that is h21 minus e bar s21 and h22 minus e bar s22 okay that is one matrix that matrix is multiplied by another column matrix that is lambda 1 lambda 2 and that gives a zero matrix okay so that is a, a matrix so i have what i have done is i just wrote this equation in the matrix form okay i just wrote this equation in the matrix form and when we are expanding this one we will get the same equations that's all okay when we are expanding this matrix we will get the same equation how we can do this this is matrix multiplication this matrix is multiplied by this matrix to give this matrix so we can write it like like lambda 1 this lambda 1 into h1 minus e bar s11 plus lambda 2 into h12 minus e bar s12 is equal to 0 adana ee matrix kanikkunnathu like that lambda 1 into h21 minus e bar s21 plus lambda 2 into h22 minus e bar s22 is also equal to 0 so those two equations were now written in a matrix form that's all okay so now this is very important and here you can see that this is possible this is possible if lambda 1 lambda 2 the matrix lambda 1 lambda 2 is equal to the matrix 0 0 okay it means that lambda 1 is equal to 0 and lambda 2 is equal to 0 this is one possibility If lambda one and lambda two are zero, what will be the fate of the wave function, trial wave function psi? Psi is equal to lambda one phi one plus lambda two phi two. 
you know that psi is equal to lambda 1 phi 1 plus lambda 2 phi 2. And if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are 0, then psi will be 0. Okay. It means that the trial wave function you assumed is 0. That is unacceptable. That is nonsense, right? So, this is not possible. This is not possible. So, we can exclude that possibility. That is a trivial solution and this trivial solution is not acceptable. So, what is the next solution? It means that this matrix value must be equal to 0. The value of this matrix must be equal to 0. It means that we are taking the determinant of this matrix and that determinant is equal to 0. Okay, the value of this matrix is the determinant of this matrix and that determinant must be equal to 0. So, let me take the determinant of this one. Okay. So, the determinant H11 minus E bar S11 and H12 minus E bar S12, H21 minus E bar S21, S21, H22 minus E bar S22, that determinant must be equal to 0. Okay. And this is very important. This determinant is called a secular determinant, secular determinant, secular determinant. Okay. And this secular determinant is the determinant of the coefficients of the variable parameters in the equation that we saw earlier. What equation? We have two different equations. Here, these equations are the variable parameters of lambda 1 and lambda 2. This lambda 1 and lambda 2 and the coefficients are the determinant. We have two different equations. These two equations equations in the number secular equations in the beginning the secular equations secular equations so during the minimization step during the minimization step during the trial wave function we reached two secular equations secular equations and that secular equations in that secular equations the secular determinant must be equal to zero Okay, our secular determinant in the secular equations in the Manasaka and the determinant of the coefficients of lambda 1 and lambda 2 that is called a secular determinant, and that secular determinant must be equal to 0. That's the But a secular determinant, our secular determinant is 0. But we secular determinant, we solve the evaluate then we will get uh, two roots for uh, the energy. Okay? Because this is a second order determinant. Second order determinant. Okay? This second order determinant is the one that we have to solve the two roots. This is the one that we have solve the two roots. That is why we have to solve the determinant. We have to solve uh, I equation solve the example, we have to get E bar in a rand value, like rand solutions. I am going to get E bar has two roots, or E bar will give rise to two values because this is a second order determinant. Okay, so E bar will give rise to two roots, so E bar can have two values that is E1 and E2. We have two values. So, we reached a secular determinant and while solving this secular determinant, we get two values for the expectation value that is E1 and E2. Okay, this is because it is a second order determinant. This is the lowest value. Okay, our lowest value is the acceptable value. So, the lower value corresponds to the minimum energy with the trial function. Okay, from the lower value and acceptable value in the brain, that acceptable value will be corresponding to the minimum value of energy with the trial function. Okay, now we will see the trial function. We will assume that trial function is a variable parameter and function. We will assume that variable parameter is energy minimized. We will minimum energy. We will minimum energy. But I get the minimum energy. That's 
അക്സെപ്റ്റബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള എനർജി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ മിനിമം എനർജി ഇസ് ദ അക്സെപ്റ്റബിൾ എനർജി ഓക്കെ ഇനി നമ്മൾക്ക് ഈ നമ്മളുടെ വേരിയബിൾ പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ലാംഡ വൺ ലാംഡ ടു ഉണ്ട് അല്ലെ ആ ലാംഡ വൺ ലാംഡ ടു കൂടെ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ചെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് കിട്ടത്തുള്ളൂ നമുക്ക് ട്രയൽ വ്യൂ ഫംഗ്ഷന്റെ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ കിട്ടത്തുള്ളൂ അപ്പൊ അതെങ്ങനെ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാം വേരിയബിൾ പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ലാംഡ വൺ ആൻഡ് ലാംഡ ടു എങ്ങനെ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാം ലാംഡ വൺ ആൻഡ് ലാംഡ ടു വേരിയബിൾ പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ലാംഡ വൺ ആൻഡ് ലാംഡ ടു ആർ ഫൗണ്ട് ഔട്ട് ബൈ ദ നോർമലൈസേഷൻ പ്രൊസീജിയർ because we assume that the trial wave function that we chose is a normalized wave function it means that integral uh, psi square d to is equal to 1 then we can say that the trial wave function is a normalized wave function so then we will do this normalization procedure so we will do integral lambda 151 plus lambda 252 the all square d to is equal to 1 okay that is integral uh, lambda 1 square phi 1 square plus lambda 2 square phi 2 phi 2 square plus 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 phi 1 phi 2 d to is equal to 1 okay it means that integ lambda 1 square into integral phi 1 square plus lambda 2 square into integral phi 2 square phi 2 square plus 2 lambda 1 lambda 2 integral integral phi 1 phi 2 d to that is equal to 1 but we know that the phi 1 phi 2 are orthogonal functions nammal indra thanne variation theorem padichappo njan paranju the trial wave function can be uh, expressed as a linear combination of the orthonormal eigen functions അപ്പൊ ഇത് ഓർത്തോകണൽ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ആയതുകൊണ്ട് ഇന്റഗ്രൽ ഫൈവ് വൺ ഫൈവ് ടു ഡി ടോ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സീറോ ആയിരിക്കും സോ ദ തേർഡ് ടേം വിൽ വാനിഷ് പിന്നെ ഇന്റഗ്രൽ ഫൈവ് വൺ സ്ക്വയർ ഈസിക്കൽ ടു വൺ ആണ് ഇന്റഗ്രൽ ഫൈവ് ടു സ്ക്വയർ ഈസിക്കൽ ടു വൺ ആണ് ബിക്കോസ് ഫൈവ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ടു ആർ നോർമലൈസ്ഡ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് അല്ലെ ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ലാംഡ വൺ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ലാംഡ ടു സ്ക്വയർ ഈസിക്കൽ ടു വൺ ലാംഡ വൺ സ്ക്വയർ ലാംഡ വൺ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ലാംഡ ടു സ്ക്വയർ ഈസിക്കൽ ടു വൺ so we can write like lambda 1 square is equal to 1 minus lambda 2 square okay or lambda 1 is equal to root of 1 minus lambda 2 square appa lambda 1 ine nammal lambda 2 inde term il express idirikya okay one variable parameter is expressed in terms of the other variable parameter okay that is possible appa angane cheythu kaniyal nammal angane cheythu kaniyal നമുക്ക് എന്താണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമുക്ക് ഈ എക്സ്പ്രഷനകത്തുള്ള നമുക്ക് നേരത്തെ എന്തായിരുന്നു ലാംഡ വണ്ണും ലാംഡ ടൂ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് ഒരു എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ നമുക്ക് കിട്ടിയിരുന്നു ആ എക്സ്പ്രഷനകത്തോട്ട് നമ്മൾ ലാംഡ വൺ ഈ ഒരു വേരിയബിൾ പരാമീറ്ററിനെ മറ്റൊരു വേരിയബിൾ പരാമീറ്ററിന്റെ ടേബിൾ എക്സ്പ്രസ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് കിട്ടും ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു എക്സ് ഒരു വേരിയബിൾ പരാമീറ്ററിന്റെ വാല്യൂ നമുക്ക് കിട്ടും അതിനുശേഷം അടുത്ത വേരിയബിൾ പരാമീറ്ററിന്റെ വാല്യൂ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കും ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് ഓൾറെഡി ഒരു എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഉണ്ട് നമുക്ക് നേരത്തെ ഒരു എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ഏതാണ് ഞാൻ കാണിച്ചു തരാം നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി ചെയ്ത എക്സ്പ്രഷൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സി വി ഹാവ് ദ എക്സ്പ്രഷൻസ് ലൈക്ക് ഇ ബാർ ഈസിക്കൽ ടു ലാംഡ വൺ സ്ക്വയർ എച്ച് വൺ വൺ പ്ലസ് ലാംഡ ടു സ്ക്വയർ ഈസിക്കൽ എച്ച് വൺ ടു ലാംഡ വൺ ലാംഡ ടു എച്ച് വൺ ടു പ്ലസ് ലാംഡ വൺ സ്ക്വയർ എച്ച് വൺ വൺ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള എക്സ്പ്രഷൻസ് ഉണ്ട് അല്ലേ so what we have to do is that we have to evaluate all these integrals h11 h22 h212 s11 s22 s12 idella integrals aanu ee integrals ella evaluate cheyuva adu pole lambda 1 um lambda 2 um kuda substitute cheya engena aanu lambda 1 um lambda 2 um substitute lambda 1 must be substituted in terms of lambda 2 angane substitute cheyuga angane substitute cheythu kariyumbol namakku oru e bar value kittum that e bar value will be in terms of lambda 1 പക്ഷേ നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി ഇ ബാർ വാല്യൂ മിനിമം ഇ ബാർ വാല്യൂ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ച് വെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് സോ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ബി സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ടഡ് ദയർ ദെൻ ദാറ്റ് വേ യു ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ ലാംഡ വൺ ഓഫ് ദ വേരിയബിൾ പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഫൗണ്ട് ഔട്ട് അപ്പൊ ഒരു വേരിയബിൾ പാരാമീറ്റർ കണ്ടുപിടിച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അടുത്ത വേരിയബിൾ പാരാമീറ്റർ നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാം ബിക്കോസ് വി നോ ദ റിലേഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ വേരിയബിൾ പാരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ലാംഡ വൺ സ്ക്വയർ പ്ലസ് ലാംഡ ടു സ്ക്വയർ ഈസിക്കൽ ടു വൺ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് വേ വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ 
all the variable parameters and then we will substitute these variable parameters for the expression for psi and then we will get the trial wave function. We will acceptable it a trial wave function in this way. So, this is what we are doing in the variation method. Now, we are going to assume the trial wave function in the variation method. We are going to assume the trial wave function in the variable parameters in the table express. If we express it, we will minimize the parameters in the terms of the variable parameters. If we substitute the variable parameters in the terms of the trial wave function, we will express it in this class. If you are interested in this class, if you are interested in this class, please don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.